I mean, congratulations. That was incredible. That match had everything. I mean, you've had the summer of all summers, but uh, and, and you know this doesn't compare. But that match did have a little bit of everything. Even that catch to get rid of uh, Ab De Villiers, it was almost the Stokes World Cup moment, wasn't it? Yeah, quite, quite astonishing. Particularly, I think after uh, you know Max bowled the over that he did previously to be in a headspace to take a spectacular catch like that. You know, hats off to him. But like you mentioned, today's game was absolutely entertainment at its best I thought Somerset batted really well took advantage of conditions but we made mistakes in the field which allowed them to get themselves in a run out chance and a drop catch uh, I was very impressed with Tom Abel I thought the way he constructed his innings everything was very calm calculated and almost played it on merit and when that happens you know and you know that you're going to be chasing a big score it's always a good sign that the wicket is always very good um, so going into the, the, the second half of the innings, we knew we'd have to be positive and play extremely well. But the way the guys started was outstanding. David and Paul up the top of the order. When we get off the starts like that, with the middle order that we have, it allows us to go harder earlier because we have strength and depth throughout the batting lineup. So it was great. Once we got ourselves in, you've seen a glimpse of the form AB is in, which is great. And I managed to get myself in. And it's hard to defend this ground when you get going or a big partnership going. So I'm delighted that we're through to the quarterfinals. It's it's great. I mean, it's so much had to go in your favour as well, but not only through, but through in third spot as well with both Hampshire and Kent losing uh, away to Nottinghamshire in the next round. And in the next round, and this was you know probably the strongest Middlesex T20 side I think that you'll have played in, and that's ever. Um, they all produced at the right moment because as tough as it was for the bowlers you do take your hats off to Somerset as well yeah absolutely uh, they, they played extremely well particularly not knowing what a good score is I think they did as well as they could um, they could have gone too hard too early and actually ended up with 175 180 but they, to post 220 is, is, is a great effort um, and then sort of we're up against it right from ball one and in our 50 over campaign this year we sort of changed the style in which we played which has been encouraged by the backroom staff which has been great and guys have taken it on board and we've seen glimpses of it here tonight so hopefully we can kick kick on with that you know we're all talking about the big five at the top but a word for George Scott as well there was a lovely moment at the start of his innings where you just looked up the track to him and he just put patted your hand down once just said calm which of course has been the mantra of your summer absolutely um, the mantra of your career yeah pretty much I'm very laid back <laughs> Um, and if you're if you're too energised or too nervous at the crease, everybody's a little bit nervous. It can it can rub off on the partnership, and it, it's getting past that initial period where you might get a boundary or two in a row, and then you go you breathe a sigh of relief. So trying to get him in that headspace earlier, I thought was brilliant, and to have him there at the end is a, a different feeling. I did did it a lot early on in my career, and the confidence it gives you is great. So encouraging him to be there at the end was what I was telling. Him quarter-final at Nottinghamshire is going to be very, very tough. But the prospects of going to finals day this year, again, this summer of all summers for you, would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it, I think it would. Um, Trent Bridge is obviously going to be a, a tough battle. They're a very strong team. Similar probably challenges, ground and um, boundary sizes today. But if if we manage to pull out a really strong performance again, I think we'll, we'll, we'll come close. Thanks for your time. Congratulations. Thank you.